Did you know that the most contaminated item in your house isn't in the bathroom, it's in your kitchen, and you probably use it every day to wash your family's dishes? Even worse, that trick of boiling it or putting it in the microwave to clean it might be creating even more dangerous superbugs. Your kitchen should be the safest place in your home, right? But the truth is, it may be hiding seven toxic invaders that are silently compromising your health. I'm talking about utensils you use every day, products you trust, and practices that seem harmless but release carcinogenic substances directly into your food. And before the end of this video, I'm going to reveal which seemingly harmless utensil was made with recycled electronic waste and contains toxin levels 1200 times above the permitted limit. This data shocked even the researchers. My name is Kenji Oshiro, and you're watching Global Health Guide. If you want to protect your family from these invisible dangers, subscribe to the channel now. Let's get straight to the point. The seventh risk on our countdown is cleaning products that sit on the kitchen counter. You wipe down with disinfectant, think you're protecting your family, but what happens is exactly the opposite. Chemical residues from these products remain on surfaces even after you rinse, and these residues go directly into the food you prepare. The data is alarming. In recent years, there's been a 23% increase in poisonings related to cleaning products, and I'm not just talking about accidents with children. I'm talking about adults who absorb small doses of these chemicals daily through food, the problem is that most commercial disinfectants contain compounds that are effective against germs but extremely aggressive to the human body. Quaternary ammonium, for example, is a common ingredient that can cause respiratory irritation, allergies and even reproductive problems with prolonged exposure. So what's the solution? First, stop using commercial disinfectants directly on surfaces where you prepare food. If you need to disinfect, use 70% alcohol. It evaporates completely and leaves no toxic residues. Another safe option is sodium hypochlorite in adequate concentration, but you have to rinse very well afterwards. For everyday cleaning, natural alternatives work surprisingly well. White vinegar with water eliminates grease and has antibacterial action. Baking soda removes stains without scratching. These products won't contaminate your food and are infinitely safer for your family. Now let's move to the sixth risk on the list, and this one is sneaky because many people think they're doing the right thing. I'm talking about counterfeit silicone utensils, those colourful spatulas, cupcake moulds and flexible moulds that you find at incredibly low prices. Real silicone is safe. The problem is that the market is flooded with cheap products that claim to be silicone but actually contain up to 40% plastics and heavy metals. Lead, cadmium, compounds that cause severe hormonal imbalances and neurological problems, especially in children. How do you find out if your utensil is real or counterfeit silicone? There's a simple test. Fold the utensil and see if a white mark appears in the crease. If it does, it's not pure silicone. Another test. Real silicone doesn't melt, doesn't change color with heat, and doesn't release a strange smell when heated. The solution here is to invest in certified products. Look for seals like FDA, LFGB, or NSF51. Yes, they'll cost a bit more, but you're protecting your health and especially your children's health. Products without origin aren't worth the risk, no matter how much you save. And attention, if you have silicone utensils that you bought at street markets, dollar stores or dubious websites, it's time to replace them. The risk doesn't compensate for the savings. We've now reached the fifth danger, and this is one of the most common. How many times have you heated leftover food directly in the plastic container in the microwave? I know it's practical, it's quick. But every time you do this, you're releasing billions of nanoplastics into your food. Recent research shows that heating food in plastic containers releases microscopic particles that go directly into your body. And it's no use looking for those containers with a BPA-free seal. BPA-free doesn't mean danger-free. 
The industry simply replaced BPA with other bisphenols like BPS and BPF, which are equally toxic. These compounds are associated with diabetes, hypertension, infertility, and the scariest part. Studies show that people with high levels of bisphenols in their bodies have double the risk of heart attack or stroke. Double. Let that sink in for a moment. Heat dramatically accelerates the release of these substances. So even if the container says it's microwave safe, you're ingesting toxins every time you heat food in it. And it's not just in the microwave. Leaving plastic containers in the sun, in the car, near the stove, all of this increases the release of chemicals. The solution is simple but requires a change of habit. Use tempered glass or ceramic to heat food. Glass releases absolutely nothing into food, withstands high temperatures and lasts decades. Ceramic is also safe, as long as it doesn't have cracks in the enamel. Make this switch and you eliminate a huge source of contamination from your routine. Now let's move to the fourth item on our countdown, and this one is literally poisoning millions of families without anyone noticing. It's scratched Teflon pans. You look at that non-stick pan that has some little scratches and think it's no problem that you can still use it a bit longer. But those scratches are releasing substances called PFAS, known as forever chemicals. Why forever? Because they don't decompose. They accumulate in your body, in the environment, in water, and stay there for decades. PFAS are associated with various types of cancer, especially kidney and testicular, reduced immunity, thyroid problems, and increased cholesterol. And there's more. When you heat a Teflon pan above 260 degrees Celsius, which happens easily on high heat, it releases toxic fumes that can cause something called Teflon flu. The symptoms are similar to the flu. Fever, chills, headache. Except it's not the flu. It's acute poisoning from toxic gases. The risk is even greater for pregnant women and babies. Studies show that babies exposed to PFAS have compromised immune systems and respond worse to vaccines. Pregnant women with high levels of these substances have a higher risk of preeclampsia and low birth weight babies. So what's the alternative? Cast iron is excellent, lasts a lifetime, even adds a bit of iron to food, which is good for people with anemia. It needs special care to avoid rusting, but it's worth the investment. Stainless steel is also safe and easy to clean, and if you like non-stick, there are ceramic pans that are PFAS-free. Just make sure they're real ceramic and not just coating. Golden rule, if your Teflon pan has a single scratch, discard it. It's not worth the risk. And never use metal utensils on non-stick pans. We've now reached the third risk, and this one will surprise you. It's plastic cutting boards. Seems so harmless, doesn't it? But every time you run the knife across that board, you're releasing microplastics. A study revealed that a single cut can release up to 1,114 microscopic plastic particles. Do the math. If you cook every day, that's millions of plastic fragments you ingest over the year. These microplastics aren't eliminated by the body. They accumulate in organs like the liver, kidneys and even the brain. Recent research has found microplastics in human placentas, in blood, in lungs. And it's not just about the plastic. Scratched boards, whether plastic or poorly maintained wood, accumulate dangerous bacteria in the grooves. Salmonella, E. coli, Listeria. All these pathogens find a perfect home in those deep grooves that the knife creates. Have you ever had severe food poisoning? The kind that leaves you unable to leave the bathroom for days? Comment down below if you've been through this. Many of these poisonings come from cross-contamination on poorly sanitized cutting boards. The solution switch to bamboo, tempered glass or marble. Bamboo is naturally antibacterial, sustainable and doesn't release microplastics. Tempered glass is great because you can see if it's clean and it doesn't absorb odours. Marble is more expensive but lasts forever. If you continue using plastic, at least have separate boards for raw meat and vegetables and replace them as soon as deep scratches appear.
Let's now move to the second danger on the list, and this one is shocking because it's in practically every home. It's the dish sponge. Scientific studies reveal that the sponge is the most contaminated item in the entire residence, more than the toilet bowl, more than the shower drain. A single sponge can contain up to 82 billion bacteria per cubic centimeter. To give you an idea, this is equivalent to the concentration of bacteria in untreated sewage. You're literally washing your dishes with something as dirty as sewage. And the worst part, those bacteria go to the dishes, then to the food, and then inside your body. The consequences? Frequent diarrhea, food poisoning, recurrent urinary infections, and even pneumonia. Especially dangerous for the elderly, young children, and people with compromised immune systems. You might be thinking, but I boil my sponge, or put it in the microwave to sterilize. Here comes the scary part. Research shows that these sanitization attempts actually favor the growth of resistant superbugs. You kill the weaker bacteria, but the stronger ones survive, multiply, and dominate the sponge. The solution isn't to try to clean the sponge better, it's to change it with radical frequency, ideally every week. I know it seems wasteful, but your health is at stake. Better alternatives, antibacterial silicone brush that you can wash in the dishwasher, or vegetable loofah that dries quickly and doesn't accumulate as much moisture. And never, ever use the same sponge to wash surfaces that came into contact with raw meat and then wash baby bottles or baby cups. That's direct transfer of dangerous pathogens. And we finally arrive at the first and most dangerous toxic invader in your kitchen. This one is so serious that when scientists published the study, it caused an international scandal. I'm talking about black plastic spatulas, the ones you buy in kits, usually cheap and used to flip eggs, serve food, stir sauces. The discovery was terrifying. Many of these spatulas are manufactured with recycled electronic waste. Plastic from old computers, discarded televisions, electronic equipment that contains highly carcinogenic flame retardants. These chemicals are added to electronics to prevent fires, but were never meant to have contact with food. The study analyzed black plastic spatulas from various brands and found that 85% were contaminated. Some items had toxin levels 1,200 times above the limit considered safe. 1,200 times. Let that sink in. These flame retardants are related to cancer, severe thyroid problems, infertility in both men and women, and the most disturbing, they were found in breast milk. This means mothers are passing these toxins to their babies during breastfeeding. And it's not just spatulas. Any black plastic utensil could be contaminated. Serving spoons, ladles, pasta tongs, all can contain these deadly chemicals. Black plastic is used because it disguises the irregular color of low-quality recycled plastic. Do you have black plastic utensils in your kitchen? Probably yes. The solution is radical but necessary. Discard them all. Replace with stainless steel, treated wood or certified silicone. Stainless steel is virtually indestructible releases nothing into food, and can be sterilized at high temperatures. Wood is a beautiful and safe option as long as it's quality wood and well treated. And silicone, as we've already discussed, needs to be certified, not those cheap suspicious ones. This switch isn't an exaggeration, it's not paranoia. It's based on solid science that shows how these utensils are silently poisoning families. The investment in safe utensils is one of the best you can make for long-term health. Now let's quickly recap everything we've seen. Seventh risk, cleaning products, leaving toxic residues on counters. Sixth, counterfeit silicone utensils full of heavy metals. Fifth, heating food in plastic containers releasing billions of nanoplastics. Fourth, scratched Teflon pans releasing forever chemicals. Third, Plastic boards releasing microplastics with each cut. Second, dish sponges more contaminated than sewage. And first, black plastic spatulas made with toxic electronic waste. I know it can seem scary to discover that your kitchen has all these hidden dangers, but the good news is that now you know and can act.
you don't need to make all the changes at once. Start with the most urgent for your situation. If you use a scratched Teflon pan every day, replace it first. If you constantly heat food in plastic, invest in glass containers. Small smart swaps make a huge difference. We're talking about drastically reducing your exposure to carcinogens, heavy metals, superbugs, and hormone-disrupting chemicals. We're talking about protecting not just you, but your entire family, especially children who are much more vulnerable to these toxins. And look, I understand that some of these safe products cost more initially. But think of it this way. You're paying once for something that will last years and protect your health. Or you save now and pay much more expensive later with health problems. The choice is yours, but now it's an informed choice. Your kitchen can and should be the safest and healthiest place in your home. With the information you receive today, this is completely within your reach. You don't need radical changes, just conscious decisions and smart substitutions. Now, I want to hear from you. Which of these seven dangers do you have in your kitchen right now? And which one will you eliminate first? Comment down below. I read all the comments and respond whenever I can. If this content was useful to you, leave your like and share it with that person you care about and want to protect from these invisible dangers. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to receive more content that really makes a difference in your health and your families. Take care, protect those you love and see you in the next video here on Global Health Guide.